Number 66, rationalize the denominator. And we've been given radical 36 over 11. You may recall from earlier in, uh, actually, you know, we may not have uh, had one of these on the practice final, but we did have a few of these on test number five. And you might remember that you can take a single radical like this and rewrite it as two separate radicals, right? And so in this case, what we have is, well, what is the square root of 36? Well, that's just 6 over, well, radical 11. 11 is not a perfect square, so we end up with 6 over radical 11. But we really can't have a, 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 a radical in the denominator. And so that's what it means to rationalize the denominator. It means get rid of that radical. And the way that we're going to do that is by multiplying by 1. But we're going to multiply by a special one. We're going to multiply by radical 11 over radical 11. Anything over itself is 1, right? So when you multiply something by 1, you're not changing the value of what you originally started with. You're just changing the form. So 6 over radical 11 times 1 is still 6 over radical 11. It's just going to look different at the end. So let's see what happens. Remember, when you multiply uh, rather fractions, you just go straight across. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So we have 6 times radical 11 is just 6 radical 11 over radical 11 times radical 11. Well, when you multiply identical radicals, the radical signs go away, and you're just left with whatever was originally under that radical. And so there we have the final answer for 66. 6 radical 11 over 11.